<laughs> this is 43-year-old Mior. We call him the mayor in the office. He has knee pain, and he's coming to me. We're going to treat his neck, yes, to get his knees better. And you're going to see that today in the first treatment. We're also going to treat his hand numbness, his grip strength, his sleep, his shoulder pain, and feet all from a neck adjustment. Here's his range of motion. Here's his knee pain. Here's me talking about creaking his knees. And here's his grip strength. His x-rays suck. Giddy up. I do like this adjustment, though. It's a game changer. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. So my name is Moyor. Um, just turned 43. I'm a marketing analyst. About three years ago, I started noticing knee and my pain um, to the point where I couldn't bend it completely. Pain in his knee. It started on one knee yeah, gotcha. and then actually moved to both knees. But I saw no swelling and so I wasn't sure what that was. So I was taking a lot of ibuprofen to like just to, get through, to get through the day i was already going to uh, acupuncture for uh for my carpal tunnel and uh trigger finger and then they noticed like hey you know you look like you're walking kind of funny and i said yeah you know i started getting this pain i don't know you know like what's causing it and so from then i was getting adjusted chiropractic after that or or at yeah, the same time. at the same time, I felt some improvement, you know, but obviously it's. Still, it's still I think there. you should get low back pain or something that went away. Yeah, a low, yeah. But the knees never got any better, and the carpal tunnel never got any better. No, I mean the the purple's gone. It's just more in the fingers now, the trigger finger. Whatever uh, he has no but grip. Yeah, it's pretty he has much. No grip strength. Yeah, no grip. So just a couple of weeks ago, he was still going to a chiropractor. Correct. And he found me on <laughs> Thumbtack. Thumbtack. Yeah, exactly. That's funny. Yeah. My first patient on Thumbtack. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. I thought I was giving up on that thing. I almost got. I almost took my, all my ads down because I hadn't heard it from anybody. The interesting thing, he's behind the computer all the time, but he likes to run. He likes to exercise, and he's a little depressed because he can't do the things he enjoys, which is running and which is doing things. So I am happy to, he's here because we're gonna make him better and we're gonna do it an unconventional way. We ain't gonna freaking touch his knees and he's gonna get better. He's like, you hey, know, he's laughing, but he sort of believes it too, that's why he's here. Rear ended in 2008, snowboarding accidents, lots of played basketball. So the guy's athletic, even though he doesn't look it, he's athletic. <laughs> I had similar injuries from golf and I totally sympathize with them because I understand how sucks to not be able to do the things you want to do. Yeah. See how he turns? He has to turn his whole body. He doesn't turn his neck. He just, his neck is all stiff like this. And so you can see it right here on the camera that he has problems with his neck. Yeah, that's the first I can go left. Yeah. And so you guys can see it, right? The x-rays are pretty interesting because they're not really that screwed up. His reverse curve is definitely there. Some arthritis. His back is arthritis. He has a short leg. You know, you're looking for the old smoking gun, and really, I think it's his occiput. Mare's x-rays show five millimeter imbalance, occiput tilt, and right TMJ. Here we have a six millimeter right short leg rib calcification. Here we have one third atlas wear, low reverse curve, and mild arthritis, sway back, and mild arthritis in the low back. What kind of pain in your back there, sir? How much on a scale of one to 10? About two. You said that was a little bit more? Yeah, maybe. that's about three or four. Good, how much pain in your neck there? Not really anything. How about that? Yeah, it's about zero. Turn your side. Look at guys, look how much he can look up. He can't look up at all. Now we're gonna check his knees. And I guys want, listen in, you can hear his knees crickle. So go ahead and <laughs> spread your feet just a tiny bit right there. Now squat. How's that, old man? That's uh, but it's a nine. <laughs> nine. Do you guys hear it? Goes creak. Squeeze as hard as you can. Okay, look at this. Now squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Look at this. Squeeze as hard as you can. Nothing. A little he's, <laughs> nothing. Squeeze as hard as you can. Both hands are so freaking weak. This was a little bit weaker, but he's right-handed, so. But uh, really, really, really weak. You ready for a mm -hmm. miracle? Yeah. He's so cocky, he's so cocky. <laughs> How nervous are you, sir? About eight. Gotcha, about eight, good. <laughs> I'm having trouble rotating him. I may change the adjustment in the future, but we're gonna go for this standard one right here. Uh, okay, let me have this. Uh, painful at all? A little, just on the, like the, you know, like the vibrating part, mm -hmm. but like the actual turn now. Yeah, no, I was surprised. It yeah. went pretty easily. Yeah. I was expecting way harder. You no, know, I've gone to this chiropractor and we have never gotten that. Even like, close. You got all the way. <laughs> like, I had never felt it go all the way. So I always felt like I got like a one or two click. You got like all of it. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, Cool. My method, guys, mm -hmm. is I'm trying to change the frame. Yeah. I'm not just trying to get a couple of clicks out of your body. I'm trying to change the way your your spine is shaped. Mm -hmm. And so you can see how much force I put in there. And it's not just to get a lot of cracks. I don't yeah. really give a shit about the cracks. It's about pushing, holding, changing, stretching, putting the body in a different position. Mm -hmm. That's what I think you felt too. The best part about it, it wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. 
Get it right in there. <laughs> no screaming in pain. Come on, AJ, let's hear it. <laughs> we had this vision, both of us, that he was going to be like that one patient from Maryland that we saw because his neck is so stiff. But you took that like a champ. We like to help our patients up after the first adjustment. Sometimes they're a little lightheaded, sometimes a little disoriented. You can see Mare is a little bit here. We're also reminding him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. So let's check in and see how he's doing. Hold on, your body. I feel a little lightheaded, like lightheaded in the sense of like a... We're going to uh, adjust uh, Mare here, like we did with AJ. Uh, his neck doesn't rotate very much. I am adjusting from the back and I'm doing a pretty good job in a normal way, but it's still hard to rotate him. So. I thought I'd try this one. And so um, he's the only second patient I've ever done this on. He's excited because he's seen AJ's video and I'll uh, we'll let you guys watch. The real purpose of this is to create a proper curve in the neck. I can't wait to see how this works. Okay, let's go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> kind of interesting adjustment, huh? Yeah. It was interesting get from the, from the, the past exactly ones. Exactly from the back, huh? Yeah. Yeah, how is that different than the ones from when I do it when I have you laying down? Uh, definitely didn't feel the, the headache. Like yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but the crunch is still the same. Yeah, what I love about it is that, again, it's directly working on his curve of his neck. And so I can't really see how he does. I didn't feel the muscle as tight as yeah, yesterday. Yeah. It was so. definitely much easier for me. Yeah, because yeah. yesterday I know that it felt really tight. I was like, oh, geez, that's not good. Yeah, good. Good right there. <laughs> <laughs> I almost like slid off. I know. Wow. That was pretty intense. Get up off the chair, please. Good. And so that's actually still better than it was. Put your feet closer together. Now try to get up like that. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part. I know. I got it. Oh, no. I got it. Just. Oh, that was way faster than I thought it was going to be. How'd that feel? Was that painful? No, it wasn't painful. So why don't you do that more often? I now, now that I learned the relax method, I will start doing that more often. I feel like I'm doing really great. Uh, definitely, I've seen the most improvement I have in a very, very, very long time. Good. Um, as long as you keep with the program and do what uh, the doc says, you'll, you'll be fine. Best answer this year. <laughs> um, what did you learn last night about the posture stuff I taught you? I loved how you said that. You said about you changed your balance. And tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, I started, you know, with the new posture and I started getting like a, a rocking groove. Uh, and with that, changing my center of, center of gravity, basically. And you and felt that. I felt that. Yeah. And it made everything uh, much, felt more the most normal I felt in a very long time yeah, in terms yeah. of walking and feeling um, not robotic and stiff, yeah, which yeah, I've yeah, been yeah, doing yeah. for the last... And all he did was change his posture, mm -hmm. just the lower part of the neck so that when he does his posture, he can relax his shoulders a little bit more. I'm going to push in your shoulders. This is going to hurt like a son of a gun here. Most important thing is to breathe in your nose, out your mouth. Ooh, right there. So that's now, a seven. That's oh, a seven. Yeah. See, it's only a seven in his face. Look at his face. Does that look like a seven, guys? <laughs> I'm going to let go in a second. You can tell the camera what you feel after I let go. Good. Oh, my God. I feel like a thousand pounds just like lifted off me. How does the brain feel after that? Ooh, a clear. Just. We're just in his lower neck, guys. Let your head just fall this way. He's really tight. I have no idea how much we're going to adjust him. Okay, good. And now you're going to turn your head to the left, please. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that even surprised me. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I just gotta like calm myself. Calm down, yeah, yeah, I can feel it, yeah. Now I want you to bring your head forward like a turtle, like more like a turtle. Excellent. <laughs> Holy moly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Basically the best I felt uh, shh, about four or five years, honestly. Gotcha. Uh, definitely uh, what he does. Um, and if you follow the homework, you definitely learn to uh, kind of enjoy your old body again, and that's the best way of saying it. The way I'm teaching him to walk, that he's having the same kind of euphoric, relaxing feeling. Yep. And he, he's forgot how important that is and how good it feels. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, awesome. Definitely the patience. Um, because patience for you? For me, okay. because... Once you once you do your adjustment, you definitely feel this like pain lifted, and like I said, you want to go like a hundred, right? <laughs> and it's just because you just you're so you, you know I've been 
you've been restricted for so long that now it's like this power is kind of like back to you but then you know depending on how long you, know, you had your issue like <laughs> it's not that quite simple so exactly. it's just uh learning to be patience like, is a virtue yeah, yeah and so just learning to kind of like you know talked about the other chiropractor we used to go to that used to come away and would, the improvement would last how long uh, a couple of hours uh at best maybe that that night yeah and so you leave the office going oh, i feel better thank you yeah. doc yeah and then so how is this compared to that oh it lasts days like yeah, exactly. i like literally like i has not been a time where even, literally after even the first day like where it did not it didn't come back to the levels prior yeah uh it was always like less less and less and so it definitely yeah. uh you came in for knee pain right knee yeah. pain was your primary why are you laughing <laughs> because i know what you're gonna say <laughs> <laughs> right knee how much better is that oh it's pretty much gone yeah yeah the hand numbness a lot of it's gone. Now, there's still some there, but definitely, like, I've actually can actually almost make a fist. Uh, weak, the weak powers. grip, the weak grip. Yeah, much better. I can actually open jars uh, yeah, yeah, easier yeah. than before. And sleep. Sleep, definitely much better. So, the funny thing is, he also has shoulder problems, which yeah. I didn't even know about. And then the plantar fasciitis. And the plantar fasciitis, too. Yeah, we didn't even. It's not even, all day. <laughs> it's not even written on here because yeah. he didn't even talk about it. Yeah. And so, how much better are your shoulders? Oh. Oh, a whole lot better. And I haven't, we didn't even know they were a problem at first. Yeah, yeah. And then how much, how much your feet? Feet's really good too. Uh, <laughs> and and you've been suffering like, that your whole life almost. Yeah. It's definitely. Uh, it was so consistent that he didn't even mention it in his history. Yeah. Didn't even mention it that yeah. he had plantar fasciitis. Yeah. Because the knee felt so much, or I focused on the pain on the knee so yeah. much that I completely ignored my yeah, foot. Yeah, interesting. He only touched my neck. Only That's the it. neck guys, only just the neck. Only the neck. Right? Amazing. Uh, only the neck. And so when you guys always go, it's not the neck, neck does nothing, you're full of shit, Dr. Thayer. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've gotten adjusted. Only I got adjusted the throughout the back, the hip, all that. Toes, ankles, yeah, that, knees. You said the other guy used to pull on your knee, adjust yeah, your knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull my leg to adjust. Yeah. And I would, like, on the side, they'd cr yeah, and then, then that. Like that, again, like I said, it lasted an hour or two except at the night, you know. The next morning have i back. massaged your leg at all have i adjusted anything Nothing. below your literally, neck it's just literally just the neck <laughs> just neck. um and everything just falls into place i know it's hard for your chiropractor to believe that but you should and the reason you should is you don't have to get away from your type of treatment but you should understand the neck is really freaking important and get a good neck adjustment and you could do all the other bullshit thing you do but you'll get your patients better yeah anyways let's get you adjusted mm -hmm. This adjustment focuses on just that curve I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. Drop your head again. Drop, 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 drop. Drop, 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 drop. Just let your head fall. Good. Come back towards you. Good. Nice. Oh, boy. I do like this adjustment, though. It's a game changer. Come this way, please. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Because I was like, dude. 